<laughs> Do fish drink water? Fish drink water differently depending on whether they live in salt water or fresh water. Saltwater fish constantly lose water through osmosis, so they actively drink seawater and filter out excess salt using their gills and kidneys. Freshwater fish, on the other hand, absorb water through their skin and gills because their bodies have a higher salt concentration than the surrounding water. They don't need to drink actively. <laughs> Instead, they urinate frequently to remove <laughs> excess water. Hmm. Why do we get hiccups? Hiccups happen when the diaphragm, the muscle helping us breathe, suddenly contracts. This makes the vocal cords huh? close quickly, causing oh. the hic sound. Common triggers include eating too fast, oh. drinking carbonated drinks, oh. swallowing air, oh. stress, or sudden temperature changes. Hiccups usually go away on their own after a few minutes, but holding your breath, drinking water, or swallowing sugar can help stop them. Hmm. In rare cases, persistent hiccups may be a sign of a medical issue. Hmm. Huh? Why do we sleep? We sleep because our bodies and brains need time to rest, recover, and recharge. During sleep, the brain processes memories, repairs cells and releases hormones that help growth and healing. Sleep also strengthens the immune system, keeping us healthy. Without enough sleep, we feel tired, forgetful, and less focused. Our internal clock, circadian rhythm, tells us when to sleep and wake up. Good sleep improves mood, energy, and overall health. Why do humans fear snakes? Firstly, snakes can be deadly, so a natural fear response towards them could have helped early humans avoid dangerous encounters, increasing their chances of survival. Hmm. Secondly, snakes often have distinct features like a triangular head and a slithering movement that can trigger a fear response even without a direct threat. Hmm. Lastly, Direct negative experiences with snakes, like being bitten or seeing someone get bitten, may have solidified our fear of snakes. Mm. How high do planes fly? Commercial airplanes fly at altitudes ranging between 30,000 to 36,000 feet above the sea level. Firstly, flying at such an altitude places the airplane in the lower stratosphere of planet Earth. Lower stratosphere is located above the clouds. This helps in protecting the airplane against bad weather. Secondly, the air in the lower stratosphere is much thinner as compared to the air near the surface of the Earth. Thinner the air, lesser the resistance for the airplane. This results in higher fuel efficiency for the airplane. Hmm. Why did giraffes evolve to have long necks? Giraffes have long necks primarily to access food in tall trees like acacia that other herbivores can't reach. This evolutionary adaptation helps them thrive in habitats where competition for ground-level foliage is fierce. Hmm. Additionally, their necks are used for necking, a form of combat where males swing their necks to establish dominance and win mates. The longer and stronger the neck, the better the chance of success. Hmm. Why does a corpse flower stink? The corpse flower stinks to attract pollinators like flies and beetles that love the smell of rotting meat. Its foul odor comes from chemicals also found in decaying animals such as sulfur compounds. Hmm. Now, when the flower blooms, it also starts heating up, spreading its nasty smell even farther, making it seem like a warm, fresh carcass. These bugs, fooled by the stink, land on the flower and help pollinate it. Hence, the corpse flower stinks. Hmm. 
Why do we get a flaky scalp in winter? Firstly, cold air and low humidity can dry out our skin, including the scalp, leading to flakes and itchiness. Secondly, indoor heating also contributes to the dryness by removing moisture from the air. This can cause our scalp to lose its natural oils, leading to irritation. Thirdly, a lack of sunlight in the winter months can affect the balance of our scalp's natural oils and yeast-like fungi, like Malassezia, which can cause dandruff. Lastly, wearing hats during winter can further trap heat and sweat, promoting dryness and flakes. Hmm. Why don't our haircuts hurt? We don't feel pain when we cut our hair because hair is made of keratin, a protein with no nerves or blood vessels. Unlike skin or muscles, hair is biologically dead once it emerges from the scalp. Hmm. Pain occurs when nerves send signals to the brain, but since hair has no nerves, cutting it causes no sensation. Hmm. However, the hair follicles embedded in the scalp are alive and sensitive, which is why pulling hair hurts. Hmm. Why do birds sing loudly in the morning? Firstly, male birds often sing in the morning to impress potential mates. Hmm. Secondly, there is less noise in the morning. This allows the birds' songs to travel further, thus making communication more effective. Hmm. Thirdly, as the light is too dim in the early mornings, singing seems like a productive way for birds to spend their time. Hmm. Lastly, after resting through the night, birds have replenished their energy reserves. Singing in the morning lets them use this energy burst. Hmm. Why are clouds white in color? Sunlight, which we perceive as white, is a combination of all colors in the visible spectrum. Clouds consist of water droplets that are comparable in size to the wavelengths of sunlight. When light interacts with droplets of this size, it undergoes a process called MIE scattering. Unlike other types of scattering, MIE scattering affects all colors of light equally, blending them back into white. This is why clouds appear white to our eyes. Hmm. Do animals really dream? Humans dream during their rapid eye movement stage of sleep or REM sleep. In a research, the brain activity pattern of a rat running for some cheese and the one during its REM sleep was found to be similar. Moreover, a singing bird's brain activity while singing and while in its REM sleep also showed similarity thus indicating that perhaps animals dream of their daily activities. Hmm.